question is, tell me a little bit about yourself, like where you're from, which school you went to, and any shout outs. Okay, so um, I'm from New Zealand, um, grew up in Otara. Uh, the schools I went to, I went to Tamaro College, I went to Nantakwai College, I went to Mamede College, and I went to Green Bay College. Um, any shout out, shout outs, only one shout out, that's to my bro, Rex Masofa, um, who's been my mate since I was in primary school, um, also to my dad. Yeah, my mom, Maria. So the next question is, um, who are your idols and um, the people that you look up to and why? Um, okay, so um, my first idol would have to be uh, Marvin Gaye as a singer. Um, second idol would be um, would be Stevie Wonder as a singer again. Um, who else? My mom is one of my biggest idols. And, um, yeah, just um, when, it, when it comes to um, guitaring and musicians, Steve Ray was another good idol of mine, and um, Stanley Jerry as a harp player. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Alright then. Now, um, any encouragement or any words of wisdom to other people that out there that want to do the same thing like street performing or just being a guitarist overall? Um, the best thing I can say is that um, stay true to yourself. Um, always up skill. Um, every time you come, like if you want to be a busker, every time you come home with something new and something fresh, uh, like famous for you and um, your audience to, to enjoy it. Um, and, uh, as it stands, um, I, I play anything from from the 60s to now. So it's a wide range and um, when it comes to guitar I play many of the greats. So it's, it's, um, I've only been a lead guitarist for seven months but I've been a rhythm guitarist for like 22 years. So it's just all about, of, um, don't give up. Awesome. So the next question is, um, how much of your stepfather's new and heritage do you know about? Um, heaps. I know his whole family. I know where he grew up. Like, um, I, I know we grew up in Osaka. Like, um, he didn't spend much of his time in um, in New York, but um, recently he came back with my grandpa passed away. Um, Nan's still alive. Nan's still in New Um, the family go back every now and then to go and see Nan. See how she is now, just to keep the family ties together. Yeah, I'm really proud of Okay. And have you thought about going back to New Air yourself? New Air Island? Or going there? I'm waiting for Dad to drag me there. He's <laughs> been trying to drag me since I was 11. And I still want to go. And I'm 35. Huh? <laughs> It's been 24 years that I'm still waiting. For <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And um, so, where in the world have you travelled to so far, and um, why those places? So uh, I've been all the way around New Zealand, um, digging, and um, I've been all the way around Sydney. Um, I've been trying to do a tour in America. Um, awesome. Next January, January, February. So that's going to take about five. I think it's about five weeks. Five weeks will be away. Um, so you have to look forward to that too. So uh, everything's coming through. Um, it's been a, um, you just got to work hard at what you're doing and, and you've got to put the time in. And like, um, in this business you get screwed over harder, uh, especially being a New Zealander. Um, here in Australia, you, um, as, a, as a Maori, 
our class is lazy when it comes to the music, the uh, music business, uh, especially big budget in the music business, and it's hard for models to break out into the business. But um, a, a, as it stands, my music has been played every week for the last three years on Capital Radio, <laughs> which is uh, done a different thing in Sydney. Uh, my name's Richard Nickel, but they call me Nickel. <laughs> Awesome. So I guess that runs into my next question is, where do you see yourself in the future, maybe the next year, next five years, next ten years, in regards to your music playing? Um, I, hope, I hope to be playing with Buddy Guy mm -hmm. and um, Eric Clapton, and say like the next ten years. You know, I, I plan to be playing in youth clubs in America, New Orleans, Chicago. Um, my dream is to play, uh, is to do this exact thing, exact thing in um, Central Park. Uh, it's like busking is like it's a great thing, like you know, um, it can take you places. I have mates who travel around the world as busking. Um, we went to Sweden, we went to San Francisco, mm. and uh, then we come back to Sydney. And um, you, 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 you get to know like um, like which countries play the best, and, uh, and and where can you where can you actually play in those countries? So, um, yeah, it, it, it gives a lot back to you when you got mates who travel around the world um, doing the exact same thing you're doing. The reason why I haven't done it is because I've got family. Uh, look after my family first. Um, my oldest child is 18 now and uh, she's nearly uh, out of door. The other two are uh, overseas, so um, yeah, just waiting for one child to leave and I'm off. And then it's my turn to travel, so yeah. Sure. <laughs> nice. <laughs> And um, besides music, is there any other recreational activities? What else do you like to do? Um, uh, well, I love to cook, I love to bake, um, but Chinese is my specialty. Mm -hmm. And um, I just, um, yeah, if I'm not doing music, I'm eating. <laughs> <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Yeah, yeah nothing wrong with that. Maybe you're going to eat, you're going to eat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Other than that, yeah. <laughs> and the last question is, um, if anybody watching this video clip wants to see a live performance of you playing your guitar, uh, where can they find you? Where's your most hangout spots? <laughs> okay, currently, um, every morning from 7.30, I'm in Fairfield, at Fairfield Station in Sydney. Um, but during the days, Monday I'm in Liverpool, Tuesday I'm in Blacktown, Wednesday I'm in Summerhill, Thursday I'm in Nantua, and Friday I'm back in Liverpool. Um, I like to have my weekends off with everybody else. I know people enjoy busking and, and people um, you know, creating music in the weekends, but um, I like to leave that for people who have the time for me, because uh, I spend like, most of my time playing and most of my time singing. But like, I don't really enjoy it, so like, it's not a chore for me. You know, I have great fun every day. Uh, I meet wonderful people, and um, and I go home not broke, which is possible. <laughs> Most of my life, I grew up broke. So, you know, when you're walking away uh, every day with money, you're like, wow, that's an accomplishment. You did something for the day. Mm. It's either this or I stood at home doing nothing, staring at four walls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wow, that's exciting. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, other than that. You just gotta love what you do. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, if, if you don't like your job, guess what? Leave it. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not for you, you don't like it. It's not gonna make you happy. So find something to make you happy. Yeah. You know, find a job to make you happy. This makes me really happy. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.